This is a wiring method used to achieve forward and reverse rotation interlocking for an electric motor. The main power circuit starts from the circuit breaker. The three-phase power lines are connected to the forward rotation contactor at terminals 1, 3, and 5 input. Terminals 2, 4, and 6 output are then connected to the thermal overload relay. From the overload relay, three output wires are connected to the motor terminals U, V, and W, completing the main circuit wiring. Next comes the control circuit. The live wire is taken from the 2P circuit breaker and connected to Terminal 95 of the overload relay, normally closed contact. Terminal 96 is connected to the stop button. The output of the stop button goes to the forward start button and from there to the normally closed auxiliary contact, 2122NC, of the reverse contactor. The output then connects to Terminal A1 of the forward contactor with the neutral wire completing the circuit. The auxiliary contact of the forward contactor is inserted into the reverse control circuit to complete the interlocking. The self-holding latching circuit for reverse operation is wired in the same way by connecting a normally open contact in parallel with the start button. Finally, connect the three-phase power to the reverse contactor. Be sure to swap two phases because when the second contactor is energized, the phase sequence changes, causing the motor to rotate in reverse. Have you learned it?